So hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome to another exciting episode on this channel. And in our previous discussion, we shared a free PSD part 10. And then within the free PSD part 10, and within the free PSD part 10, we gave out this beautiful wedding invitation card. And it's been a long time we designed something like a wedding invitation card on our on our channel and it's very necessary i told you guys that i'll be dropping a tutorial step by step on how i was able to achieve this and this is the tutorials for it so please if this seems to be interesting to you kindly stick around and let's go through the tutorials one after the other i will try my best to do it in a fast way so that it will not take enough time graphic design basically of of late is let's say let's um, put it into is taking into three phases the first one is working with the background second one with working with the image if it is necessary that is if your design requires an image and other things and then the third one is the arrangement of your text that is the details and maybe a small adjustments and color grading and other things and you are good to go so please this is what we are going to design and if this seems it seems to be interesting to you please Stick around and let's walk through the tutorials one after the other. And please, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, like and share and be part of the family. So without wasting much time, control N to open a new document. That is, if your Photoshop is launched already, then control N to open a new document. And for this one, we are not going to use our normal size again. We are going to use um, um, A5 size or A3. So I'll go to my add an illustration and you now i'll go to print again i'll look for a5 so if you know your a5 size already then quickly input them already so in case you don't know the a5 then this is the a5 is 148 by 210 resolution 300 and then i call it wedding invitation invitation flyer Okay, so maybe 2024, let me put it this way, 2024. And everything is okay, so click on enter. And then you have nice background like this with me. So first of all, we unlock this one and we are going to work on the background. So I'll import the background and then we'll begin. As I said, it deals with three phases. That is the background, the uh, uh, image arrangement, and then the test. So that is if your image is required. If image doesn't require, for example, this wedding invitation and player image that is not needed. So only the background and then text and adjustment or adding beauty to the work. So let's go and import the background. Okay, so the background has been imported successfully and maybe let's do some adjustments to it. And I think this is awesome. So just push it this way. And then maybe there is one thing we need to do. You just pick your rectangle to right click and pick your rectangle to and draw a thin red line here let's go and change the color from here they will choose color red all right all right and then you move it upwards okay 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 so all this in a group and then call it bg BG. this contributes the background and then we are going to work with i think let's go inside again and then let's see go to camera raw and let's add some beauty to the main background so whilst our camera raw is loading please subscribe to the channel like and share and let's grow the channel together we have about 200 and 60 and still counting videos on our channel with 755 currently and i'll say a big thank you to my new subscribers god richly bless you so we push this up a bit and then let's be boosting them and see which one will be okay i think um and um okay i think let's see before and after and it's it's popping up already so i think it's okay so click on okay 
and it will be applied to the main work. So, yeah. Okay, it's applied nicely. Then the background is set. So we are going to work with the main text. So basically, let's go and pick them from here since we don't want to waste enough time. So drag this and then bring it on top. Nicely like that. Control T and then select it. That is if you have your details already, then you can go ahead and fix them okay so it's set let's reduce the size it's too much 300 is too much so let's make it like 200 and see i think after this we need to reset our interface and 302 is too small uh, let's make it 300 still and i think 300 is okay so be, please just work it as you want it to be 300 i think let's make it 250 and this is awesome now this is awesome now so the next thing is yes the next thing is the family name so let's go and bring them here drag it and then release it nicely Control t to select it let's transform it on alt and then drag here that is if you have if you are now typing them one after the other then you kindly do so but if you have the details already then you have to just copy and be pasting copy and be pasting them and that's all copy and be pasting them copy and be pasting them and that gives you let's change here to let's see 80 replace so let's go back to the because I have the fonts. Okay, so it's ready. So um the family of let's say Benjamin, Usman, Unuju, and the, the just if you have your words already, let's increase the font to maybe 90. And I think it's okay bring it down here and then you drag this down and then use the arrow key first of all let's bring our guide view guide and then new guy layout to make sure that everything is in order good so click on ok and then the next family name also follow okay so the next family name is there so you pick a rectangle again and then hold shift and draw a beautiful ellipse and choose color red for it and bring your end T on the keyboard hit here and then your end V on the keyboard again Okay, so let's increase the size of this to maybe 80. It's too small, so 100. And let's center and align the test and the ellipse. So guys, you know already. Let's still increase it. It's too small and not showing clearly. Good, and this should come down a bit. So the family of that is the man's name followed by the lady's name and then the details still continue so just for the purpose of not wasting time let me just go and drag them and be dropping them so that we don't waste enough time we just want this tutorial to be quick yeah it should be very very quick yeah it should be very very fast one and that is it Okay, so that is also set and this should also move. Then control T and then increase the size. Still increase the size a bit and push it here.
okay so just then the the newly or incoming couple's name should follow so this should move all right so increase it all right all right all right and i think it should go to this side a bit yes it's conflicting with the background details and that is awesome so the next thing is so just basically and arrangement of text as i already said so this the wedding and so this and the white wedding so this should go I will move it quickly and throw T and then scale it up. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So that is it. Then the next again is the trad after the white wedding, the date, time, and things. Let's go and check them up. Then you. This is not bad. So dates and time. Let's copy the date and time. Okay, so the white wedding, it has its own date. So let's center and align this. Yeah, control D to deselect it. And that is the details of the white wedding. And then the traditional wedding details also follow. So this is a traditional wedding. Let's go and bring it, drag it, and then release it like this. Control T to scale it up. And I think it's okay now. So once that is set, then another details of the traditional wedding details. You bring it and scale it up. I just just be scaling it up once if you are doing it for the first time you just be adjusting them increasing the font size and that is it basically and that will be all for you so I think all these details should go up a bit should go up a bit or let's select them one after the other so this this should go up a bit the end should go up a bit and this should go up a bit. Humbly invite you should go up a bit. This should also go up a bit. Then the couple's name. I'm really, really interested with the couple's name. We should change it to something italic font. Yeah, maybe when we are done, we'll come and change it. Because most time their name should be in stylish their name should be in stylish so just be adjusting them because I told you from the beginning that it does graphic design does in three phases one the background two the image and third one is the arrangement of font and maybe you can add the fourth font to be maybe adding duties and other things to it so let's go with this one Control T to select and then remove it like this and the last details follow that is the RSVP so move it and let's change the contact details from here okay then the last details which is the color code they move it 
and drop it nicely. Control T to select it and then scale it up. And then you use the arrow keys to bring it down. And guys, I think let's see, put this one, all this in a group. Um, but no, 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 no. You select the first and go and select the last one and then control J to put them in a group and call it test. Good. Control H to hide the guides. And this is it. This, the text is ready. And then the background is also ready. So guys, this is how to design. No, I said we will do something about the name. Let's see. Change it from. Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's go into it. Just choose some a font, a stylish font that will make it look awesome. I think this is awesome now. Good. And then let's come and change this one as well. Yeah. Good. And I think it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Let's reduce the size. And adjust it this way and guys i think it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome now so once you are done control alt shift and e and match everything together you know how we do it already convert to smart objects and uh, you go to filter camera or filter and let's boost it up because we applied it on the first camera or filter was applied only on the background so let's see if we can do something for the whole flyer boost here like this i think i'm already getting what i want no this i don't like so contrast and i think highlight let me check clarity it boost a bit if you get what you want and i think this is okay so let's see the before and after and you see it's popping these colors are popping quite different from this one so i'm okay with this and i'll click ok and it's been applied too good so you see the before again and after again so guys basically this is how i was able to achieve this awesome wedding invitation flyer you can even just pick it up and then do an editing on it and sell it to your clients the free PSD file is on the channel and you can check it out and download for free once again. The password is also in the video. So kindly not in this video, in that um, PSD file part 10. You can watch it carefully, get the password extract and use it for free. So without wasting your time again, I'll say thank you for sticking around. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. I'll see you in the next tutorials. Bye for now.